I'm sure many of you can relate to the feeling of being stuck in a never-ending scroll on social media. Only to look up and realize that hours have passed by and you still haven't gotten any work done. This is a common problem that many of us face today, and it's called procrastination. But what if I told you that this procrastination isn't just a bad habit, but rather a direct result of our constant reliance on social media and other digital distractions? Other digital distractions. Hello, everyone. My name is Mona, and today I'll be talking to you about the effects of social media and procrastination, a problem which is having serious effects on students around the entire planet. Let's get started. It can be tempting to put things off, right? Especially when they seem overwhelming or difficult. However, procrastination can have serious consequences on aspects like grades, increased stress, and the feeling of disappointment in ourselves. And while there are many factors that can contribute to procrastination, social media is one that is often overlooked. In fact, research, show, research has shown that social media use can significantly interfere with our ability to focus and get work done, leading to increased procrastination. As we've become more and more connected to our devices, we've also become more susceptible to the constant stream of distractions they provide. From social media notifications to the endless scroll of news and entertainment, our brains are constantly being pulled in different directions. This constant bombardment of information and stimulation can make it difficult for us to focus on a single task for any length of time. Instead, we find ourselves constantly switching between different apps and websites, never truly giving our full attention to one thing. But it's not just me and you. It's a way more common problem than you think. I made a survey among students from different key stage groups in my school to see if age affected the rate of procrastination. I was surprised to find that 84% of them considered themselves procrastinators. This made me realize that procrastination is a pervasive issue that affects all of us, regardless of our age or academic level. Procrastination can have a significant impact on many of our daily lives, and it's a problem that we shouldn't neglect. It's crucial that we recognize its impacts and take action to address it. By doing so, we can improve our productivity and unlock our full potential. It's not just the act of using technology that leads to procrastination. It's also the way the technology is designed. Many apps and websites are built to be addictive, using techniques like infinite scrolling and variable reinforcement. Variable reinforcement is what we call when there is no fixed pattern in the warning system. For example, when we get a notification, it might be something that we care about, like a DM from a best friend. It might as well be something that we don't care about, like someone we haven't seen since kindergarten who shared a story. However, we can't know if it's something we care about or not unless we check the notification. This is what makes us so attached to our phones and keeps us hooked on infinite scrolling. We don't know what we're going to get. If we keep scrolling, we might find something great. But let's face it, most of the time, we don't. Humans are curious by nature, and it is an undeniable fact that social media consumes a significant portion of many of our daily lives. Our initial human curiosity and desire to know what is happening in others' lives drive us to constantly check our devices. Being disconnected from social media, even for a short period of time, can make us feel like we're missing out on something important. But there's another reason why social media leads to procrastination. Many individuals believe that the time they spend on social media is productive, as they, may seek as they may seek inspiration from those profiles. However, social media is often a cluttered and overwhelming source of information, and there are more efficient methods for finding inspiration. Instead of sifting through the digital clutter, it's important to find more targeted and time-effective sources for inspiration. So what can we do to break this cycle? Firstly, Identify and remove distractions. Distractions are a common cause of procrastination, so it's important to recognize what distracts you and take steps to eliminate them. This could be as simple as turning off your phone or closing unnecessary tabs on your computer. Secondly, break tasks down into smaller, more manageable chunks. This can help make the task seem less daunting and help us make progress more quickly. Another solution is to use a timer. Setting a timer can be an effective way to maintain your focus. Use a timer to work on a task for a certain amount of time, then take a break before, before starting again. This can help you stay focused and motivated. Finally, set deadlines for yourself. When we have a deadline to meet, 
we're more likely to take action. Create deadlines for yourself and stick to them. By using these strategies, we can overcome procrastination and become more productive and successful in both our personal and academic lives. Ultimately, it's important to remember that technology is a tool, and it's up to us to use it in a way that serves us, rather than, rather than the other way around. By being mindful of our use of technology and taking conscious steps to limit its impact on our productivity, we can break the cycle of procrastination and reclaim our time and attention. Thank you.